Hello and welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about brushing your doggy's hair. Here she is, the doggy. She's a pretty doggy. Okay, Athena, we're gonna brush your hair. <clears throat> so this is what I just put through her hair and it's metal spikes and it pulls the hair off and traps it into the brush. So you kind of brush your dog's hair the same way you do your own hair. In strokes across the hair, you comb it in the direction that you want it to go. Actually, in the direction that her hair grows. And that's the direction that you want it to go, in the direction that it grows. If you're doing this outside like I am, you can just clean this out of the brush by pulling it out and throwing it into the grass because the wind will blow it away. But if you're doing it inside, then you probably need to put it in a trash can. You're probably wondering, what does this have to do with life skills and living independently? Well, if you have a pet, you will have a bunch of hair in your home if you don't comb it out of your animal, this is any hairy animal that you have, you should brush it to get the hair out. And one of these dog brushes are great because like I said, it traps the hair. I mean, you'll have hair all over your floors, everywhere and your furniture if you don't keep your animal brushed. So we're gonna take that hair out. And yeah, you're probably gonna get it everywhere inside if you decide to do it inside your home. So yeah, I recommend doing it outside. Because not only can you just throw it into the yard and the wind will carry it off, but you get less of a mess inside your home. Every time I stroke her, it seems like I'm getting more and more and more hair. And sh her fur coat is going to look even prettier if you'll comb it out. I know you've noticed that my dog's hair hasn't been combed. I probably haven't combed her hair for quite a while. So, probably comb it more often than what I've been combing her hair. Because I've been getting all kinds of hair in my home because I didn't brush her hair. And that's my fault. If it's your fault, take the responsibility. <laughs> it's not the animal's fault. It's because you didn't take care of the animal and brush it. Are you going to let me comb, comb your belly? Don't think she wants to let me get in there, but I'll do the best I can. Now she's up. You gonna let me come under? And I think that she has combed a lot better than what she has been. And I think she might even like being combed because she's not running away. All right, and I am done combing you. I just need to clean this brush out because it's so full of dog hair. <laughs> so life skill of the day, comb your pet out so that you don't have hair all over your house. If you like this video, hit like, share, subscribe. You're also welcome to comment. And if you have questions related to life skills or living independently, email me at tanyadillardthequeen at gmail.com. That's T-A-N-Y-A-D-I-L-L-A-R-D, the queen at gmail.com. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you next time. Have a good day. Bye. Mwah.